Praise God. We close it now. Praise God. Amen. We had two interruptions. Nevertheless, praise God. We will read the practical points at this time. Amen. It was a beautiful lesson. Amen. We apologize for the interruption with the whatever, Wi-Fi, whatever. But we thank God for Jesus. We bind that in Jesus' name. Amen. So many of us need to be encouraged ourselves. Everybody needs encouragement. I don't care how old you are, how long you've been with the Lord, what your tasks in life, naturally or spiritually may be. We all need encouragement. And God knows the encouragement we need. And he encouraged Joshua, praise God, at that time. Praise God. And we thank God. Amen. These words Amen. Uh, for our illustration, amen. Praise God to, amen, be prosperous spiritually, naturally, to be all that God will have us to be in Jesus' mighty name. Number one, the ultimate fulfillment of God's plan is never dependent on any man. Amen. When God makes a promise for your future, you can consider it already done. Verses 3 to 4. We can take courage in God's promise, presence, provision, and protection. God's promises are often include our hard work. Amen. God fulfilled his promise in his time and way. Under the authorities of God and with his power, no assignment task is too big. God always keeps his promises. Amen. We thank God today. A topic is be of good courage. Be strong and of good courage. Amen. God to do his part and we have to do our part. We have to rise. We have to start over. And this is what Joshua and the children of Israel had to do. Couldn't be idle. Amen. We have to serve. Amen. Kingdom building is action. Come on here somebody. Kingdom building is action. Everybody must take a part and do what they can do. Praise God. Amen. We'd just like to say by way of announcement, praise God, Apostle Robinson will be, amen, ministering, amen, in Far Rockaway, 438 Beach 40th, Suit 7, amen, praise God, Jay, praise God, at 11 o'clock, amen, we're getting ready, praise God, uh, Holy Curtain, Convocation is on its way, praise God. November 3rd, amen, praise God. 2nd through the 4th, November 2nd through the 4th, amen, praise God. And we are looking for a high time in Jesus, amen, praise God. The Thursday, amen, will be Women's Night. They also will be honoring yours truly, serving of the Lord. At 7.30, right here at 11206 Farmers, Friday night, praise God. A dynamic Apostle Paul Smith, praise God, will be here of past spirit ministries. Amen. Breaking the bread of life. Amen. And Saturday, praise God, at 5 p.m., we will be here. We will be at 11206 Farmers. Boulevard, 11206 Farmers Boulevard, that Saturday at 5 p.m. Amen. And we have the dynamic, praise God, overseer, praise God, Corey Smith will be with us, the Cider Tell Ministries. Praise God. And we just thank God. I had the full name of his ministry. I apologize for that. But we thank God. We ask all of you, praise God, to get ready, amen, to share in the gathering, 
If it's ever a time for saints to support one another, amen, praise God is now. We, we need each other, saints. We need, we need each other. We, we can't do this by ourselves, praise God. We need supplication of prayer, financial support, amen. We need the exaltation, the esteeming. We need to pour into each other in this trying time. When the world is pulling everything away from us, praise God. We need the body of Christ, need to pour into each other. Praise God. Amen. We thank all that. Joy. Amen. So good to hear from you, Lady Ruby. Praise God. We had some interruptions in this broadcast today. Praise God. But we thank God for Jesus. Amen. Praise God. If there's anyone under the sound of my voice, say, I would like to be strong and courageous, but amen, I don't have the, the battle endurance. I don't have the equipment. I don't know the Lord. First thing I would say, amen, you need the conqueror inside of you. And the conqueror is Jesus Christ. Praise God. Amen. Amen. There's no way that you can go that Christ is not there. There's no sin too big or too small where Christ cannot receive you. He loves us. He loves us. The enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy, John 10, 10 tells us. But he came to give life and that more abundantly. Amen. And that more abundantly. So we want to encourage you today. If you do not know the Lord in the parting of your sins, say, Lord Jesus, I come to you. Forgive me for all of my sins. I confess you as Lord. I confess you as the Lamb of God. And I ask you, as you make me a new creature, Help me to be a disciple of your word and not a hearing only. Lead me in the path that you would have me to go. Amen. Lead me to a sanctuary where you have me to be planted. Father God, I thank you for being my all in all. Help me to reverence you in this life going forward. In Jesus' name. Amen. If you meant that prayer, you may say, that was a simple prayer. Heaven rejoice over you. You are now a citizen of heaven. The Lamb Book of Life has your name in it. Amen. Stay in tune with God. Stay in tune with God's people. Seek the face of the Lord. Amen. When you have guidance and teaching, praise the Lamb of God. Amen. He's concerned about your every, every chore, your every need, your every ambition and goal. Praise God. He has an agenda for your life, a purpose for your life. Amen. As you seek God's face and he make it known to you, be encouraged. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Amen. If you want to send your prayer request or have follow-up, praise God, you may write to the email, Royal Generation Worldwide at gmail.com. Amen. That's Royal Generation Worldwide at gmail.com. Praise God. We will pray with you. Praise God. And solicit God on your behalf. Again, it's a Solid Rock Gospel Assembly, 11206 Farmers Boulevard, St. Albans, Queens, New York. The Q3 and 83 stops right in front of the door. And we thank God for Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb. We thank God, hallelujah, for what he's doing in the world today. He's still God. I know sometimes it says, Oh, so much trouble, so much evil, where sin abound, grace more abounds. So we thank God for the power 
of the living God activating in our lives. Be encouraged today. Be encouraged. Be strong and be courageous in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name. Father God, as we leave this time and place, we do not leave your presence. We ask that you would let us reverence your presence in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer in Jesus' matchless, miraculous, miracle-working name we pray. Amen. Stay blessed. Shalom.